Pomfret here. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. First they want to answer, now they're engaged. Uh -huh. mm. You may as well go around there. Come on, Mr. O'Shaughnessy. What are you doing? A bit of tidying up. I don't like to be idle. I come off a family of 11, you know. We all mucked in together. Mucked in. Yes, yes, you told me, but uh, you know that you have mixed the red tulip bulbs in with the yellow. And the white ones. <laughs> <laughs> There's room in the basket for all of them. They can all muck in together. <laughs> but we won't know which is which. The customers will when they bloom. <laughs> it doesn't matter to them. <coughs> yes, I see. Come on. Uh, you have done tree surgery before. Tree surgery? Second nature. Uh, weeding's the only thing I'm not enamoured of. Why's that? Well, people are very fussy, you know, what you pull up and what you don't. After all, they're all God's plants. Like people. How would you weed people? I don't know. Neither do I. <laughs> Shall we get going? Uh, look after the shop, George. You do uh, quite a bit of gardening, Mr. O'Shaughnessy. Oh, I've done everything. Did you drive? I have a shot at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Go. Hello. 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 Get key on there. This book down there. <laughs> You can't drive, Mr. O'Shaughnessy. But you can't do anything to your try, can you? <laughs> Good job you had the handbrake on. Oh, that was a trouble. This one is... <laughs> Stanley, we can't go on like this. <laughs> You're sucking me dry. You're draining me out. Shall I pour you a nice cup of tea? Did I phone Mr. Pumphrey, or didn't I? Ring him and ask him. <laughs> Stanley! <laughs> Onto the door. <laughs> oh, it's you, Dingley. Was it you before, when there wasn't anyone there? It's like the morning standing. Come in. Just to let you know that I shall be late in this morning since this is my... I know you know, Mr. Pumphrey. I'm just phoning you out of courtesy. If you... I... If you find it disturbing to have me remind you that I'm... No, not at all. Please don't apologise. No, I just wanted to say... Well, I've said it. Goodbye. Men. <laughs> Look who's here, Lena. Good morning. Excuse me. We had a bit of a difficult night last night. You. <laughs> you what? <laughs> well, Dingley, what brings you here? The tree job. The tree job? Mm -hmm. Would you mind keeping your voices down, please? <laughs> the, uh job in ham. I told you. I thought I may as well pick you up on the way then. Ham? Oh, Lena's got to go to ham this morning. Oh. We can give her a lift. What's the address? Uh, wait a minute. Here it is. Uh, Dr. Lamb, a hundred and... <laughs> Dr. Lamb of ham. <laughs> I see. <laughs> see what? 
What? <laughs> there was a ten second silence, then you said you saw. <laughs> I just wondered what you could see so suddenly after ten second silence. It's uh, none of my business. Um, we've got to go to Ham this morning, uh, Lena. Uh, we can give you a lift. Oh. Uh, Lena's got to visit this friend in Ham. Oh, yeah. I, I don't have to, Stanley, and he is not my friend. He is my therapist. You don't have to cover up for me, you know. I'm not ashamed of it. Well, he is your friend, isn't he? I mean, don't try and tell me he just does it for the money. It is an ongoing relationship. You don't understand. On the contrary, I do understand. You... Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, well, this will be jolly. <laughs> Shall we go, then? Are you ready, Lena? Are you going to get dressed first? <laughs> oh, I'm thinking, yeah, it won't be a minute. Oh. Sorry, the place is in a mess. Not to worry. I'm not worried, just sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I dare say you'd be sorry if your place was in a mess like this. It's in a fair mess. Oh, my place. <laughs> I'd uh, offer you some coffee, but there isn't any. No, no. You don't want any? Not if there isn't any. <laughs> Nice room. It's a terrible room. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I got very little sleep last night. That's all right. It's not all right. I need my sleep. <laughs> I use a lot of nervous energy. Yes, I'm sure you do. Why? Hmm? <laughs> Why? Oh, uh, uh, Living with Stan? <laughs> Dingy. Uh, yes. Don't be offended. But I don't think I should come with you to Ham. You see, one's relationship with one's therapist is of a particular, um... I, I, I mean, one has to, um... Uh, um you, you need to be in the right frame of mind. And uh, travelling with Stan and me in the van might possibly not be conducive to that. The bastard's going away on holiday next week. <laughs> Dr. Lamb. Hmm. How do you know his name? Uh, you told me. No, I didn't. Uh, Stan told me. Oh, if I take the bus now, I'll be late. And he'll go into one of his sulks. Your therapist? Uh, he's, um, disappointed in my progress, you see, which makes me feel guilty, as if I'm letting him down, and of course that makes him feel guilty. After all, he's supposed to be in charge. Well, not in charge, it's a one-to-one -one relationship. After all, I mean, I shouldn't think in terms of progress, but of a creative process. Have you got any idea what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 yes. Uh, oh, right there you are, Stanley. At uh, last. Oh, you're going to come in the van with us then, are you? Why don't you want me? Oh, of course he wants you. You want her, don't you, Dingley? <laughs> I mean, uh, you'd like to have her in the van. No, I mean... <laughs> that'll, that'll do, Stanley. Let's go. Right. Handbag. <laughs> Isn't it marvellous about women, Dingley? How at the last minute they always forget. <laughs> ah, wellies. Oh, I thought you were ready. Isn't it marvellous? <laughs> Right. Scarf. <laughs> I think I'll get a cup of coffee while I'm waiting. There's no coffee. <laughs> right. If we're ready, then. Stealing our wheels. Mr. O'Shaughnessy, you're taking the wheel off. No, no, I've had it off. Now I'm putting it back on again. I've got to have a shot on it. Is it flat? No, round. <laughs> Good for nuts on. Yeah, one of the little monkeys scuttled down the drain there. Should them foil hold it? <laughs> this is Mr. O'Shaughnessy. He's helping us out. This is uh, Mr. Uh, Partridge. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Partridge. You don't look too strong. Have you been ill? I uh, had a difficult birth. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. 
Miss, uh, uh, oh, Lena. Pleased to meet you, Miss Lena. Are you on the job? <laughs> giving Lena a lift to have. Uh, look, um, I think perhaps I'll take the bus. Come on, Lena, we've travelled four in the van before. I know, I remember. Hey, would you like me to drive, and then you can talk amongst yourselves. I'll drive. Uh, you'd better get in last, as you're out first. Slam it when my hips in the way. Would you like me to get out and push on the door? I've got the weight. <laughs> Would you stop the van? <laughs> right. Sure, you can't feel a good shag. <laughs> Dingley, what are you doing? Getting the stuff out. We're here. No, we're not. Is this where you are? Hi, we're here right enough. But we're not, Dingley. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> here you are, safe and sound. Are we here or not? I'm early. Oh, that's good. I don't like being early. It makes me look dependent. I'll just uh, walk about for a while. Oh. Go away, then. Oh, <coughs> oh right. Well, well, uh, well, goodbye, Lena. Have a good... Um, Off we go, then. Aren't we here? We're too. <laughs> Why didn't you tell her we were working there? She didn't go spying on her. She'll go in a minute. She'll see the van when she comes out. Not if we leave it here. And cart all the stuff down the road. We're here now, are we? <laughs> What went wrong last night? It's that shrink. Poisons her mind against me. Convinces her she's in the right. And he's going on holiday next week. So she's feeling rejected. Standard behaviour. He's a substitute, substitute father figure, you see. Substitute, substitute? Yeah, I'm first substitute. I said she ought to take advantage of his absence and try and kick the habit. So she could devote more time to things around her home. <laughs> you mean you? Yeah, that's where the argument started. Let's see if she's gone in. I'm deadheading them to make sure they keep blooming. <laughs> What's to be done, then? Uh, just a general tidy up, Mr O'Shaughnessy. Uh, there are tools in that shed around the corner. Leave it to me. Uh, Mr O'Shaughnessy, uh, don't forget, if you lay in turf, green side up. <laughs> I'm not that fond of ethnic jokes, Mr Partridge. <laughs> That's the tree. Those branches are blocking the view from the window. Needs moving, really. You pull it up, I'll carry it. <laughs> Where did you find Mr. O'Shaughnessy? Hmm? He came in the shop. 
He can do anything. He's strong. The wall of his room's covered with broken spades. <laughs> We're none of us permanent, Stan. Let's get the ladder up. <laughs> Stanley! You know what you're doing? I'm not a fool, Dingley. <laughs> What? I didn't say anything. Here. Catch hold of this. Now, loop it over that top branch. Hmm? Right, and now tie it to your own branch. Right. That's it. Good. She's in there somewhere, lying on his couch. <laughs> Wouldn't I like to listen in? <laughs> it's really her business, Stanley. She tells him everything, you know. It's what gives these mad doctors their kicks. If I was walking naked down the street with a bag over me, I didn't know how I was. And he passes it on in his club. Giggle at me over the turbot. It's lies! All lies! Stanley, I'm trying to think. It's too close to that window. If it swings, it'll go straight through. There's somebody in the window steadying it. I'll see if there's anyone about. I expect he keeps his failed experiments up there, chained to the walls. <laughs> wonder if he's got an underground laboratory. There's nobody in. I'll go straight up. You can't do that. I'll just slip straight up and open the window. There's no problem. Stanley, look. If I don't show up in five minutes, send for an exorcist. No, Stan! <laughs> uh, good, 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 good boy, good boy. Is it good boy? Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> My God, werewolves yet. <laughs> Look him straight in the eye, show him his master. I'm not very good with dogs. <laughs> Tell him that. A string of sausages out of the fridge. What for? It always worked in the Beano. Good boy. There's a good dog. <laughs> Awesome. Good. What do you mean I could leave him? It's my flat he's living in. He'd have to leave me. What I mean is... I know exactly what you mean. What you mean is I don't really have any problems. I just make them up. So it doesn't matter whether you're around or not to support me. Since support isn't necessary. Lena, I shall only be away for a fortnight. What has that got to do with it? Did I mention you're going away? Did I say I couldn't answer for the consequences if you deserted me at this particular moment in time and only hoped you wouldn't regret it when you came back? Did I? much up here, but there's some quite nice Chelsea china in the sitting room. What? You are a burglar. No, were you expecting one? <laughs> a window cleaner. Nope. You're not a rapist. Only if you insist. <laughs> Wait a minute, don't tell me. Go, 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 go. What's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? I live here. I'm his daughter. Oh. Knocks you about, does he? <laughs> you don't have to protect him, you know. Look, why don't you tell me all about it? Mr. O'Shaughnessy! Oh, uh, 
can't spot a bother outside. <laughs> Won't be a moment. Don't go away. <laughs> oh, you can't open it. The sash cords are broken. I'll just use the bottom one. Mr. <laughs> Stanley... No! Lena. Lena. What are you trying to do to me? You might have told me it was the top sash cord that had gone. You didn't ask. Ooh. Does it hurt? Only when I laugh. <laughs> Couldn't give me a hand, could you? Yeah. <laughs> Miss Roshan, has he let go of the mower? I thought you said he could do anything. I bet you couldn't hit a ladder with a lawn mower at 25 yards. <laughs> I don't know whether that branch is safe. Neither do I. <laughs> get off it. I wish I could. Oh! <laughs> He'll have my head off. Hold your end. How can I? <laughs> Can you let me down? Down, is it? Yes. I'll have a shot at it. <laughs> no! <laughs> Gently it is. <laughs> what? What the devil is going on? I have a patient in there. Ha ha! Dr. Lambert. <laughs> we meet at last. Well, it's lies. All lies. What? What are you doing in my daughter's bedroom? Dr. Lamb, given your daughter's condition and my condition, there's very little we can be doing. <laughs> anyway, you call yourself a psychiatrist. Why don't you keep your sash cords in order? Come in, Mr. Paisley. I'll have you down in a brace of shakes. <laughs> you never miss an opportunity, do you? <laughs> Here she goes. Oh. Dr. Lamb, uh, this come off your moor. Uh, shall I get it fixed for you? <laughs> Cheer up, Lena. Could have been worse. <laughs> Might have broken your fingers. Now, Lena. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> shall we get back to work? I don't like being idle. <laughs> Count your blessings. I knew a man once who broke both his wrists. He had to lap his beer out of a dog bowl. I can't even make it up with her. Why not? Well, look. <laughs> it only bruise. It'll be all right in a week or two. A <laughs> week or two? You're only good monasteries, Dingley. I don't suppose you meant that about throwing out of the flat. I need that woman, Dingley. I mean, where would I live? <laughs> and that surgical operation she wanted done on you, it was only a figure of speech. <laughs> And then to try and strangle me with that length of mower cord. I mean, it's not like her. Not when you consider we did her a favour. How's that? Well, she didn't want him to go on holiday, did she? They can't now, not with a broken collarbone. <laughs> you can go on holiday with a broken collarbone. Not rock climbing. <laughs> I mean, the family's obviously accident prone. I mean, look at his daughter. Might have killed himself rock climbing. Probably saved his life. <laughs> nah, there's no gratitude. I'll never be able to play the piano again. Of course you will. No, I won't. Couldn't before. <laughs> That's a very old joke, Stan. Look, what do you expect in my mood, Max Miller? <laughs> I'd go home if I were you while your fingers still hurt. Throw yourself on her mercy. Yeah, and then if she attacks me, I can't defend myself. <laughs> She'll beat me to pulp. She'll do all those things she said she'd do. Can I come and stay at your place? <laughs> no. <clears throat> can't get my money out for the next round. <laughs> Same again. Perhaps if I went home with a look of agony on my face, she'd feel sorry for me. I mean, I swear I'd never do it again. Won't you? Well, Dr. Lamb won't have his back, will he? <laughs> After smashing his windows, breaking his collarbone, wrecking his lawnmower and killing his dog. <laughs> you shouldn't judge us on first impressions. <laughs> Would you employ us? Yep. Cheers. I suppose I ought to look on the bright side. It's not everyone who can be involved in the breaking of his girlfriend's therapist's collarbone, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers.
That was the final program in this series. Next week at 5 to 9, you can see the premiere of Airline, an outstanding British adventure series about a fledgling airline in post-war Britain.